Managed to get the shower fitted now. Uh, it all went fairly straightforward. I've had these pipes at the correct centres already using that little wooden jig I built. <clears throat> and I bought these two brackets separately. These were a different brand altogether. Um, but they were a much easier way of fixing the pipes coming out rather than using the, the Myra ones that came with the shower. And there was one of the bracket up the top there to hold the big head in place. So there's a couple of things to do. One is to drop the bead of silicon all the way down the side there on the corner. And now we need to get in and uh, fix the shower panel in. So I've got that already. Uh, it's all boxed up, so I'm gonna unwrap it and we'll get it fixed up. three fixings and I've slotted in this glass panel now which has the hinge section in it. Um, we don't need, it's not like we've got a shower enclosure where we need to adjust it so I'm going to push it all the way in uh, which I think probably give it a stronger hinge joint anyway. So it's pushed all the way inside that sleeve. The bottom has a seal anyway so that's why there's this uh, kind of 15 mil gap here. Um, but in order for me to fix the two together uh, with some uh, self-drilling uh, screws, just like self-tapping screws, um, I've had to just plinth up this corner here just with a bit of polystyrene and so it's completely um, vertical because I'm doing this on my own. So now um, the instructions call for two little pilot holes and then use those self-tappers. And that's all that really holds the frame into the uh, kind of socket section. Right, so I only have one drill bit, so I'm glad that lasted. Obviously I've got one more hole to go. Um, but these drill bits snap so easily with this sort of thing. Uh, right, we'll get that first screw in. Actually, it's just got a little washer and then a chrome seal that goes over the top of it. So um, we'll get those in first. So I'm hoping that it's going to stay vertical now. Otherwise, if you had a wonky wall, you'd put the top one in and then tweak the door until it was perfectly vertical and then mark up and drill those. But we'll double check again with the spirit level, send in those last two, and then that'll be it fixed in. All right, so moment of truth. There's those little uh, caps that cover over. All pretty straightforward. And this is a completely unbranded uh, panel. You know, it's not a, um, a fancy brand or anything. It's just a standard bath screen, but i um, pretty impressed with the quality. So if we take out our wedge now, let's hope it's self-supporting. We wanted this to close completely square. So when using the bath for the kids and stuff, that's, that's out of the way, but um, we didn't really account for this being in the middle. Uh, the glass is 700 and the bath 700, but Obviously, because we had to inset this to the center of the uh, the molding bit here, uh, it doesn't close completely square, um, but that's fine. I mean, it's it's still pretty tidy and it's out of the way and it can close right across. So one of my concerns is this um, seal, which goes on the bottom of the glass. 
uh, kind of has two flaps that go out either side and it looks to me that this is the sort of seal which once it's in place you don't want to be moving it much um, whereas you can get the seals which are just like a big round um, rubber bead almost which are more suited to if you're opening and closing it a lot so um, we'll, we're going to put this one on and we'll see how it performs but I'm imagining that it's not going to kind of uh, seal correctly each time that you close it up so um, we'll, we'll see how it goes but otherwise we might just buy the other type of trim and put that on the bottom so there we go apart from a couple of beads of silicon that I've got to run uh, that's pretty much it so the shower's in shower's up and running and the shower screen's in all looks pretty solid works nicely closes up pretty much um, up against that wall so we can use the, the bath here so that's it for that video when Pretty well actually, really pleased with uh, with how it works and wouldn't be afraid to do it again. Um, so, hope you enjoyed that video. Next video we'll be doing the final, final bits. So that's kind of fitting the skirting, building the, arc, um, the alcove here with the shelving, fitting the tower radiator, fitting the column radiator, and uh, a few other bits and bobs. But thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.